Guys, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by. So you've noticed I haven't been making a lot of videos. Well, this time I'm in Mexico. I'm in Mexico and I'm in my hometown and there is an AD here. And I got word that the AD has no sports Rolex, but it has quite a few Rolex. So uh, my wife and myself uh, took, took to uh, go to this AD and wanted to see what they have. So take a drive with me and let's go to this AD and uh, let's see what we could film in there and what they have available. So guys, we're here in the corner where they have the Rolex watches and we're going to go inside and as you can see, they do have one sports model. They have a two-tone black dial Submariner. Nice watch. They have it brand new 2020 and they got a couple of dates just right there. And when we go to the other to the other showcase, we see a Milgauss, a lot of uh, date just blue dial, white dial, black dial. Any dial you're looking for, they have it here. And if you could see there in the corner, they have a 31 millimeter turquoise uh, Tiffany Rolex there. So uh, they do have at least one of those. They ran out of the 41 millimeters, of course. And they do have a waiting list here as well. But when I moved over to this other corner, they had something that I've been looking for uh, for a while. And that is the 39 millimeter recently discontinued Oyster Perpetual. So... Um, I wasn't in the market uh, to buy a watch, but when I saw this watch, I decided I was going to pull the trigger and buy this watch. And here it is. So we're going to pack up this watch, take it home, and see, see how it looks on the wrist. And as you can see here, they do have Panerai, Cartier, Tac, Hoya, Mont Blanc. They have a lot of brands, and they do sell a lot of jewelry. So this is one of the main jewelry stores here. Oh, they do have Tudor as well in Hublot. So... A lot of models that you might not be able to get in the U.S., they do have them here. So here I am back at the house, and they did have this 39 millimeter blue dial Oyster Perpetual, which I was looking at. And when you get a Rolex, especially in Mexico, you're going to have the import papers or the import sticker here in the back of the box. So that is going to be in your box when you buy a Rolex here in Mexico. So if we open up the box, we have just a normal box, just like you would get it in the U.S. Normal green Rolex box, nothing, nothing other than what they sell worldwide. So if we get this inside box out of here, I can show you the watch. And here we go. There it is. This beautiful blue dial Oyster Perpetual with the greenish accents at the end of the uh, indices. This is a nice watch. I took the uh, main tag out because I did wear the watch out of the AD. They, I didn't have it adjusted. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. They did have to take most of the stickers off, but she did leave me the sticker with the bezel. Not with the bezel, the sticker in the uh, clasp. So that was nice of her, but per Rolex, if any part of the world, you must take all the stickers out for the for warranty purposes. That's what she told me right here. And like I said, really nice 39 millimeter, no guards, nice watch, something I was looking for, not too sporty, not too dressy, something right in the middle. If you know my channel, you know I like these type of watches. You know 39 millimeters, the size I enjoy a lot. It It's not overwhelming like the 41 millimeter um, Air King that I have. This is, it does look a little bit smaller, but still not small enough. It is a really nice watch. I'm sorry to see it discontinued. The 41 millimeters, I have not seen in person, but this watch, like I said, nice, nice piece. Now, when I wear it, I did, I didn't size it. I left it the way it is. I don't want to risk losing a link uh, here in Mexico. So I just left it the way it is. I like the width 
from from the tip of the post to the tip of the post that it has. It's not an extra long watch. I think it's 48 millimeters, and it uses a 20 millimeter uh, width uh, strap. So pretty standard for Rolex. I like how you could see the bezel from the side and the end link. It's not it's not uh, obstructing the whole watch. The clasp. You don't have the micro adjustments on the clasp. Nothing fancy. I think it's basically the entry level Rolex. So. If if you could do it here, we're seeing the the plastic that they did leave on the clasp. So no no uh, stickers on the back. Well, actually, it does have a small sticker on the back, but nice watch all around. Smooth bezel, something I really like in a watch, guys, and a watch that I did not see anywhere in the states, even if I was looking for it. Now, as far as the paperwork, you are going to get your receipts here and. You're going to get one booklet um, in the States. I know you get a few booklets and you're going to get your warranty card. The hang tag, like I said, everything, everything the same. And the warranty card, you're going to get that as well. Really nice watch at the end of the day. It's just a Rolex. You know, I'm not a big, huge fan of Rolex. But if I see something I like, I will try to purchase it if it's, if it's feasible to purchase the watch. And this time it was... Uh, the watch was $6,200 out the door here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you do like Rolex, Mexico might be the place for you guys to come out here and uh, try to look for that gem that you're looking that you can't get in the States. Thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care now.